Well, it's afternoon here in uh, mid-March in northern Wisconsin, and I've been looking for bluegills here for the morning and finally found them on this weed line. I'm looking for a limit of 25 panfish today. I want to get a couple meals here. This COVID-19 business is getting pretty weird, so uh, I'm stocking up on fish right now. And I got a crappie right here. It's not going to take long. I found them pretty thick here in this spot. So crappies and bluegills so far. And uh, nice eaters. Got one perch already. Perfect eating size fish right there. And I'm just looking to stack them up as quickly as possible. Just using a little live bait on a tungsten jig. Uh, fishing a weed line in about six feet of water. Pretty basic, just meat hunting right now. So uh, this late ice fishing can be pretty fun. And you never know what you're gonna get. It can be quite a mixed bag, so. Oh, here comes fish right now. They're on me already, look at that. Got them. It can take a while to find these fish, but once you get on them, it can be hot and heavy, that's for sure. Look at that. Beautiful bluegill. That is exactly, whoa, that is exactly what we're looking for. About an eight inch northern Wisconsin bluegill right there. Absolutely perfect eating size fish. So I was just fishing in this hole for a while, catching uh, quite a few fish, crappies and some bluegills, but mainly crappies here. So the fish seem to move on and all I'm catching is small ones now. So what I'm going to do is set up a jaw jacker in this hole with a shiner on it, or a crappie minnow. And if I get a trip on this jaw jacker, uh, the crappies will probably have moved back in the area so I can kind of monitor this hole with this jaw jacker and uh, it'll alert me when the fish move back in. So I'm going to go search for some fish in some other holes right now and in the meantime this jacker will kind of watch this spot for me so to speak and uh, if it goes up I know they're back so I'll just drop this down just above the weed tops and just let it sit. And my guess is they will be back. So we'll see what happens. So I set up uh, the shack here in a new spot. This is a really nice crappie. So let's see if we can get some more fish here. a little bit of weeds here about six feet of water Let's see if there's any more fish here here comes one here comes one come on big fish big fish hit it hit it hit it there he is decent fish yeah another crop sweet Not a bad one there. Probably nine, ten incher. Good eater. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try that again. I think the crappies have been in the basin and they're just starting to move in shallow here with the March uh, springtime kind of pattern. Yeah, here comes another one. He's gonna smoke it. Come on. Yep, there he is. This one feels like a bluegill. Yep. Oh, he's a little small. The old transducer is too lazy to grab it. There's more fish down there. Oh, well, this one's gonna come up and smoke it right away. Look at that. Whack, there he is. Just like that. There we go. Just big enough to fillet today. I'm not too picky, like I said, I'm 
trying to get some fillets for the freezer here. Get a meal or two. There's more fish down there right now. Drop back down here, and it should be instant. Yep, here he comes. Whack! Instant. Another crappie. Whoa. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're on him now. I mean, there is a school. I can see him just going by on the flasher, when, even when my jig's not down there. Instant, instant fish on me. Whack, just like that. Every drop right now, every drop. That's a nice, there we go. That is perfect eater right there. About a seven and a half, eight inch bluegill. Just what we're looking for. Ooh, there's a big fish down there. Big mark, big mark. Let's get down there. Here he comes. There he is. That one I think we better pull the transducer for. That was a big mark. Another crappie. There we go. Nice. Just big enough to eat. Not going trophy fishing today. Although I would take one if I caught one, but we're just going for a quick limit. That's the goal today. Quick limit. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm using today. Basically, just a tiny little tungsten jig here. And I'm gonna take one spike, poke it through, just like that. And then I'm gonna take another spike. See the blunt end there? I'm gonna poke them through the blunt end. And that's what I'm sending down there, right there. Super light tackle, two, up, two pound test, noodle rod, and just fishing ultralight gear here for kind of a mixed bag. I've got um, crappies, bluegills, and perch so far. I got one nice perch when I was looking around for fish. We got a hot one. There he is. That's a decent fish. Nice crappie. Yeah. Those crappies are coming in up high. That's a nice fish there. Absolutely beautiful. Eating size crappie, like 10 inches. Perfect, exactly what we came for today, right there. I'm just on a little weed bed here today. And I've been looking for these fish for a while, this morning, and I just couldn't find them. And then all of a sudden I just ran into them. And here they are, I mean, that's the way it goes a lot of times. Here comes one. Got him. Just like that. Another eater bluegill. Like I said, not a monster. Big enough to play. I'm just looking for a quick limit. Here comes a hot mark. Ooh, missed him. I'm doing a lot of missing. Maybe I need to get a real job. All right, let's try again. Missed him too. Kind of standard, I guess. Missing them one after another. Yeah, that's why I'm missing them. So we got, I think, eight fish in this spot here. And I'm um, just starting to catch little ones now. I'm not really getting anything worth keeping here, so. I'm going to pick up, start hole hopping again, and see what I can find in some other holes. But a lot of times the school will just move around the weed bed. So you just got to kind of keep up with them. And if you stay in one spot, you're going to get 
you're gonna run out of fish eventually so you just got to keep rolling keep moving with the fish so there he is another nice kill that's exactly what we're after right there perfect eating size fish about a eight incher just what we want Go. Uh, see, just like that, that crappie came back to that hole I was in earlier. So that probably means the fish are back, and uh, I could set up here again and hit them uh, right in the middle of the school here. So, but I'm getting close to a limit now, and um, I think I only have a couple more fish to go. Oh yeah, that's a decent crappie here. Oh, come on here, buddy. Yeah. Awesome fish right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. They're stacked up with these bluegills pretty much in the same school, so once you get on one, you get on both, so. I'll take either one right now. Whatever I can get. Bluegills, crappies, perch. Beautiful. Well, I've got one fish left to catch here in my limit. I'm at 24 right now. And here he is. Not a bad way to end it. Another nice. Good eater bluegill right there, absolutely perfect. So that's 25 fish. Uh, maybe I'll come out and do it again tomorrow. We'll see how it goes, but that'll give us at least probably two to three meals. And uh, just trying to stock up on some fillets right now. So we got her done today. That, uh, that'll definitely help. So get out there and hit some late ice panfish. Get some meat. Good luck fishing and get hooked up. Oh, this is a mon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, can you get those just anywhere? I do not think so. Only at my secret lake. That is truly a rare fish. <laughs>